in the redneck garage. Well, you know, every time, every, you know, every once in a while you get a job that is total crap. You uh, do it and then had every intention of showing you the video on the original installation of a catalytic converter on my neighbor Tim's car and turned out to be such a crap show that I couldn't even show that part. Alright, so we're putting the O2 sensor. We got the front one put in. Got the front O2 sensor put in, but now Tim's we're gonna work on the rear O2 sensor and for this model Corolla it was kind of an abortion because the first models didn't have a rear O2 sensor and then they put it in later which caused a crappy way to do it you gotta take out the seat and the it actually is underneath the carpet in the front so you gotta take all this crap out because the connector is up underneath here and not underneath the car how dumb is that alright so I did a little redneck engineering we cut the carpet right there on the seam between the front and the back seats and you can see the wire where the catalytic converter goes here up underneath it, through the floorboard and that's about the dumbest thing I've ever seen and that's a heater duct I gotta get back put on but that's not a big deal anyway getting it off the bottom is pretty easy I'll take it off real quick and then we'll see there's the O2 sensor it's really easy to get to once you put it up on your rhino ramps but going through the floorboard is just one of the dumbest things. Uh, I think we're going to have to replace the converter though. We're going to find out. Well, it looks a little rough. Who knows? I sure wish it was this and not the converter, but we'll see, huh? He's going on his road test, and I'm really hoping that's what it was, is both O2 sensors rather than having to put on a catalytic converter. <laughs> we'll see! All right, I'm going to take a Milwaukee Sawzall, cut this old catalytic converter off, see what we got. Um, mainly, I told him what part to order, and he ordered it, and then when we got it in, it just wasn't working right. Uh, it's a Toyota Corolla, and the catalytic converter was in a bad spot, and the way it was, anyway, all that to say is that our original repair turned out being worse than <laughs> the bad converter. So we're going to put on a different converter today that we obtained and it should fix the issue and I'll show you what I'm talking about that's the Corolla and you can hear it it didn't sound very good and he thinks he's a farmer but he ain't never stepped in cow crap so anyway alright yeah this is it and it was uh sad I'll show you Got it up on the rhino ramps. This thing is a pain to get underneath, too. I'll tell you that much for sure. Up here, we put a clamp on in the O2 sensor, and it's not having it. And in the front there. So you can see where I tried to weld on that adapter around where the O2 sensor is because the way the replacement junk one was. It just wasn't working, so I got a different part. Here's the new one. It's a much better design. You can see that it goes way past the old muffler out to here, and it's got the factory fitting on the front, so that's a lot better design than the one that we put on that didn't have this, because truly, this uh, port for your O2 sensor is too close to really weld much in there. So I don't know how you're supposed to do it, if I had a lift, it would have been a lot easier to do that because you could have gotten up there and welded a little bit easier. But as I don't, and we didn't, it ended up being more like an injury than a operation. So we're going to fix it. After examining it, we got a little bit of looseness in the back pipe. And you got to take off this heat shield, and it's a pain in the butt to get to, that's for sure. So once we get off there, we can kind of, once we get it off, we can kind of tell what's going on. A little better. Randy's here! Oh, wow. Wait a minute. Let me zoom in on that. Yeah! He must be listening to Yes songs or something. What do you think, Tim? My car works! Yeah, it's looking better, man. Here's Mr. Helpful. Decker's mowing the grass. Here's Mr. Helpy Help. I'm helping. Now, we cut the carpet where we didn't have to take it all out last time but 
you got to take the seat out to get the O2 sensor. Yeah, last time we had to take out the whole center console. Yeah, that that's wonderful. dumb. All right, that sounds good. Well, he's going to clear the codes, and then we're going to see if we can get to readiness. Awesome. Well, it's going to take 50 miles. Yes, we realize that, Tim. <laughs> Sorry, it's uh -huh. Captain Obvious. That's why I said get to readiness. I didn't say we'll be ready. Come on, boy. Okay, okay. Tighten up, boy. All These right. Yankees, man. Yeah, yeah. And Tim came over yesterday and told me that although he put the sticker in the wrong spot, it should go over the 15 as not to confuse law enforcement. He did pass emissions. Hey! hey. Pass emissions. Your husband needs to go to class on where to put a sticker, though. <laughs> where to put a sticker? Well, you don't put it below the 15, you put it over the 15. Yeah. You put it below the 15? Yeah, you got 15 and 17. You put it, yeah. You put it in the other corner, the, uh... See, I always put the sticker on. Yeah, you should have. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to give you a warning ticket just for not knowing how to put your decal on, ma'am. <laughs> Yeah, I went over to film it, because it passed. And I'm looking, there's a 15. He showed me the sticker yesterday, and I'm like, well, where's the 7? And there, I was like, ah, oh, it's on the bottom. <laughs> Put a little black tape or something over the 15. All right, so that ends the Corolla escapade of uh, putting the converter on. You know, we tried to put the O2 sensors on. That didn't work. We ended up putting on, I butchered up the first converter, but the second one worked like a champ. Um, the readiness went off, went through emissions, no problem at all. Now, I know I gave Tim a hard time, and uh, he's a computer programmer, real smart fella. He put on his overalls, and he came out here and helped me, and he's not done a lot of car work, so i got to give him a lot of credit for that. That's the kind of people that watch the Redneck Garage. It's the guys that aren't afraid, get their hands dirty, and try something new. So kudos to Tim. And he saved him a ton of money, because I think they wanted like 800 bucks, or maybe more, to take it down to the uh, catalytic repair shop to put in some O2 sensors and a converter. So, you know what? He saved a ton of money. We got it fixed. Got it done. Super cool! Alright, now, coming up on the Redneck Garage is the Jeep. If you stay tuned, uh, in the next couple videos, it's going to be whether it runs or not. And could be good news, could be bad news. I don't know. <laughs> so keep tuned. I'm David from the Redneck Garage. Keep turning wrenches.